it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakat Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Russia shifts away from dollar and euro okay now why is this such a big deal because if if Russia shifts away from the dollar and the euro this would further lead to further devaluation of the dollar and a matter of fact if we come over here right what happens now I typed into the search bar what happens when Russia drops the dollar right so basically that means if, if, if Russia drops the dollar that means America will no longer be the leading reserved cur currency so what Russia is doing is they're 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 trying to trade with other currencies <laughs> okay they're trying to make transactions with other currencies with with the US dollar being excluded from that trade so here right um, I clicked on what happens when the US dollar is no longer the reserved uh, currency so it says whatever debt you have so this is what happens when the US dollar is no longer the reserved currency whatever debt you have now will follow you into currency reset no matter the world reserve currency, you still you'll still owe your mortgage, credit card, car, and a uh, college tuition. The big difference is that those dollars will now be worth mere pennies. So, like I said, with with Russia and China, because China is also working to get away from the U.S. dollar, because the U.S. dollar, the main countries. Where where the U.S. dollar gets gets most of its worth from is from Russia and China, you know, and I guess you can also say Europe, but Russia and China, you know. So if Russia and China is getting away from from the um, is getting away from the dollar, then the, the and, and and they they start using a, a different currency, well the U.S. dollar is not going to be the the um leading reserved currency anymore so that's going to lead to a major devaluation of the dollar you know and if the US dollar is no longer the the reserved currency well it's going to be worth mere pennies which um leads me to this scripture right here okay let's type in Bible okay they shall toss there I'm I forgot what scripture I don't know if it's Jeremiah or is it Ezekiel the seventh chapter let me see they shall toss their silver in the excuse me in the streets KJV so it is Ezekiel the seventh seventh chapter okay so Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 19 they shall cast their silver in the streets. Okay, your gold, your modern day gold and silver today, well, back, back in the ancient world, you see, gold and silver was used to make exchanges or transactions for particular goods. So what, what, what do we use in today's time in order to make exchanges or transactions for goods? We use the petrodollar, okay? 
we use this interest bearing currency note and the reason why I say it's interest bearing currency you know you got people out there who say oh no they, these are greenbacks no now I listened to a video that Houston's Mullins did before and he broke down how you know he broke down the difference between greenbacks and non greenbacks you see greenbacks when, when you're using greenbacks to make purchases you're using a non interest bearing currency so what is a non interest bearing currency a non interest bearing currency is when you're using currency to make exchanges with, without the use of, of having to pay interest back on whatever you owe so like for an example if a bank loan you money right you don't have to pay them back with interest those are greenbacks and greenbacks are usually backed by silver gold okay so what we're using here is a is a interest bearing currency okay you know everyday interest rates are going up furthermore if you receive a loan from a bank or whatever you got to pay them back and you got to pay them back with interest you know you might have um like um which you're not supposed to be going to college but let's just to say if you went to college right and you graduated and you have to pay your your um your your intuition bill if you wish your in intuition bill might be like ten thousand dollars right you have to pay them back with interest now interest rates uh, vary you know interest rates if somebody was making a payment on a college intuition they would have to pay them back each month right well it depends on it depends on um, how much money you're willing to pay each month but let's just to say if um you know like you 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 owe the college or whatever like ten thousand right interest is when is when it goes up by a certain percentage so let's just to say if you owe ten percent in interest I'm just I'm just giving an example see 10 percent of of, of 10,000 would be a thousand right so that means that that if if you have not made made a payment by that following month instead of you owing 10,000 you would owe 11,000 and if you have not made a payment by that time you will owe 12,000 and if you have not made a payment by the following month you will owe 13,000 so if, if interest rates was like 10%, then then the amount that you will owe will go up by a thousand. So so we're using an interest uh, um bearing currency, which is not backed by anything except paper. So so really there's no no value in, in this USD. But you see when the so-called elites succeed in systematically crashing the dollar this is what's going to happen they shall cast their silver in the streets so people's going to be throwing their their dollars in the streets because they're going to see that it has no value it's worthless you can't buy anything with it you can't trade with it you cannot invest in stocks with it you can't do anything with it okay so they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in, in the day of the wrath of the Lord so all you guys are uh, especially you Israelites you're you're rich okay you're, you're rich you you sitting on millions you think you're gonna be a-okay you better think again all that money you got in your bank it's gonna be getting tossed out in the streets because it's gonna be worthless Hey, you know what's going to happen? Okay, they're going to they going to come out with a new currency that's going to have some kind of value to it. And guess what? That's going to be on a device the size of a grain of rice, the CHIP, which is the MOTB, Revelation thirteen verse sixteen all the way down to eighteen. Okay, it says. It says, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So, if we come over here, right, 
It says half of the country's external transactions are now being made in other currencies. So they're literally, and it's not just Russia shifting away from the dollar and the euro. It's China too. The central bank says. So it says the share of the U.S. dollar and the euro in Russia's cross-border payments has fallen by more than a third since the beginning of the year from 79% to about 50%, the country's central bank announced this week. While the bulk of export and import settlements remain in dollars and euros, these payments are hampered by sanctions. As many as Russian banks have been disconnected from the Western financial messaging system, SWIFT, and are now unable to carry out other transactions. The use of China's yuan by Russian business has increased dramatically in the past nine months as Moscow seeks to reduce its reliance on Western currencies. But to arrange payments in alternative currencies, a new infrastructure for foreign exchange operations has to be established, the regulator said. The share of the yuan in the volume of Russian currency trading surged from 3% in March to 33% in November, according to the central bank. The regulator explained that market that market players not only purchased yuan for rubles, but also uh, transferred part of the funds from dollars and euros into Chinese currency. You see that? So they, they don't want nothing to do with the U.S. dollar no more, okay? The, the whole world is getting sick and tired of the United States. Hell, even Europe, the European Union, is getting sick and tired of the United States. They're over there freezing while, while you people here in America, you're all nice, warm, and cozy, like, you know. And, and America's the reason why Europe is in the condition they're in. So it says the two countries have reportedly accelerated efforts to move away from the dollar and the euro towards settlements using domestic currencies. The monthly volume trading in currencies of other so-called friendly nations rose more than sixfold from 6.5 billion uh, rubles, $100 million, right, in March to 39.4 billion rubles, $640 million in USD. So these countries don't want nothing to do with, with, with with um America, okay. Matter of fact, let's get Obadiah. Obadiah chapter one, verse two. Okay. So this is concerning Edom that controls America, because we know Edomites control Europe and and Russia and Australia, but this is concerning Edom. That, that that controls America. As a matter of fact, the the proof is right here in verse four. Okay. Though thy uh, Obadiah one and four, though thou set thy as self as the eagle, what is America's symbol? The eagle. So we know that this is pertaining to you Edomites here in America. And ultimately, all of you Edomites, when you all go in, it, go into captivity. So this is this is pertaining to Edom, that, uh, the Edomites that control America. Obadiah one and two, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen; thou art greatly despised. So America is despised, is becoming despised by every country on the planet. Okay, the Africans they they hate this country. The Iranians hate this country. Okay, the Europeans are starting to hate this country. Russia hates this country. North Korea hates this country. China hates this country. You know, so this country is becoming despised. Okay, furthermore, when you look up the word despise, it goes back to the Latin word despiceri. D meaning down, down from, spiceri, which means to look. So when you put two and two together, the word despise or despiceri literally means to look down on. So these different countries look down on America. Because look at what America is doing to all, all of these other countries. Verse 
But anyways, with that I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.